This point is so important to explain over and over till it will brighten the inner part of our minds to glow and shine in the greatness of our Maker. The time limitation that we are experiencing in our life, that we are passing from one moment to the next, and that in the moment that we're moving to the next, we're losing the last one that we've just experienced. This is part of our exile. It's not only that we have been rejected from the Garden of Eden, from being joyful and happy, and to experience physical limitations of physicality of this lifetime in this world, of pain and sorrow and, um, and grief. It's also that we have been limited to the physicality of our bodies. And our bodies are traveling in time. Our awareness is passing from one moment to the next. But, in truth, Exactly like that now, in the present time, think about it, try to focus and understand. In this present moment, you are attached, connected to the Maker in 100%. If you are now aiming your thought to Hashem and you say, Hashem, Shalom, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. Oh Hashem that I'm here. Thank you so much for allowing me to serve you. And you pray with honesty. You're experiencing the moment in an eternal way. Even though that now, one moment later, you lose that moment that you just experienced. Even though it was eternal, with no borders, with no limitation. It was the experience of the now. Now you're experiencing a new now. Now you're experiencing what that back then seems to be the future to come. But actually you're experiencing it in the now. And now, if you will aim your mind and you will talk with Hashem, Shalom Hashem, how are you doing? It's me again. Thank you so much for letting me talk to you. You are connecting yourself in an endless, eternal way to the Maker in this present time as well. So, the experiencing, the experience of traveling from one moment to the next is actually like a blind area, a blind spot that we have that is not allowing us to see and to experience few moments in the same time. But, in reality, in the nature of our existence, the truth is that every moment that we ever experienced in this lifetime, and every moment that this world ever experienced since the beginning of its creation, was eternal, and has eternal existence, and will never be erased, and will never be gone. So, when our Maker will bring the redemption to our lives in this lifetime, and we will experience a great redemption based on our actions, based on our position, our location, our mindset, the redemption will heal us and will reject the darkness away from the world. When we will experience that feeling in the present time, that experience will spread as well to all the other worlds that ever existed. All the moments that are eternal means all the moments that ever took place, like we just explained, that the only reason why that moment left us and became part of the past in the archives of our vague memory that is only our experience, but it's not the truth. It's not that what that really happens. It's how we look at things under the limitation of time. So when the redemption will take place, it will touch and bless all the time spots that ever existed since the moment of creation. And the redemption will take place and Mashiach will come and the house of Hashem will be built and everyone will come to see the face of Hashem 
in all the worlds, in all the moments, in all the times, and there will be no problem of the... F there will be no problem that many generations that one person will experience that feeling of redemption in few places in his life, in million places in his life, because he will experience the redemption in his life. The redemption will take place in the place that you were in the present time. It does not need to bring us all now to a certain location. People from the past will travel to the future. No. The redemption will take place in all the places, in the same time, in the present time, of every experience of every person. Everyone in any moment of his life will be free from the limitation of time and will experience the godliness in its most highly expression of grace, kindness and unconditional love. The Maker will show His mercy, His love, and His revenge and evil in any moment since the moment of creation, before the beginning of time. I tried to speak about this over and over and over again. And I hope that today I was able to deliver another point about this amazing amazing understanding of how the redemption will take place and how all the worlds will enjoy the kindness and generosity of our Maker. How the Creator is so loving that the expression of His love in the final moment will be so great, so magnificent, so beautiful that really there is no way in the world to explain it and to to describe it in perfection until we will get to that time, to that moment, that we will be completely free from all limitations and we will see the glory and love of Hashem in all the worlds, in all the times, in all the places on earth, in the creation of our Maker. And as well, it's so important to say that every person in any moment of his life will experience the redemption based on his actions. And it means that if a person was unfortunately doing something wrong, he will find himself embarrassed in the time of redemption because he will be caught with his pants down, God forbid. But if a person is keeping Torah mitzvot and is doing something good, helping someone, assisting some soul in her journey, learning Torah, and in that moment that you are doing that good thing, the redemption will take place. There will be no end to the pleasure and satisfaction that you will experience. And this is the reward for the righteous ones that spent all their life, all their time, or at least as much as they can, doing good things. Because when the wave of redemption will wash the worlds and the redemption will take place in all the moments. In any moment that you were learning Torah, or that you did something good for someone, or you were worthy in any way to experience the redemption, the reward and pleasure and sights that you will see and experience will be so highly that there was never an eye in the world that experienced something so great as yours. Blessings. Do the right thing.